The game you see right here is the result of this course. This is what you will build at the end of this course. And this is not just another random course. In this course, we build a complete game from idea to final publish, all in a single journey. And you might ask, how is that even possible in one course? And I say, it's not only possible, it's easy with the help of AI tools. This course will make you independent. You will never need to rely on a human tutor again. After completing this course, you will be able to build any kind of game you want using AI and Rail Engine and C++. I'm a solo game developer and I created this course to show you exactly how I built my own full game from idea to final release using Unreal Engine 5, C++ and the power of AI tools. In this course, we're not just learning random features, we're building a real game together, step by step. The game is called Dead to Rise and you can find it on Steam right now. This is a third and a first person zombie survival horror game set in a creepy old west town. You survive wave after wave of zombies, scavenge during the day and defend at night. Now let's talk about what we will do in this course. We'll make a complete game design document to plan and manage your game like big companies do. We'll make diagrams to show the features, class hierarchy and relationship between different parts of the game. All this happens before we even start developing the game. If you don't know about game design document, I will teach you everything about it and it is the most important part of your game. We will also plan and design the full game like a pro. We will uh, plan gameplay loop, zombie types, weapons and survival mechanics. We will create a complete character system. We will create a base class for both player and enemies. Then we will use enhanced input for smooth movement, sprinting, jumping, crouching, aiming, and shooting. We'll create AI zombies with different behaviors. We'll have screamer zombies. These would be the types when they see you, they will scream and they will give your location to other zombies. And they will have bad breath that if they come close to you, they will damage you. And we'll have raper zombies, which have skills from their human past. They would be much stronger, good fighters, and they can even dodge your attacks. And we will also have juggernaut zombies which are much stronger, faster and with good combat skills. These zombies can hear you, they can see you and they can dodge your attacks. They are not just simple zombies who chase you around. They also have the ability to patrol in the map if you are not available to them. We will also build a wave system that gets harder over time and a full day night cycle to add strategy. This day and night will give the player the chance to find the things he needs in day and survive at night because our zombies will start coming at night. We will design weapons and combat including hitscan and projectile weapons. In hitscan weapons we will add pistol and shotguns. And in projectile weapons, we'll add grenade launcher, rifles, rocket launcher, and many more. We'll also have melee attacks and knife. Then we will create dynamic crosshair system which can easily expand to more and more weapons. We'll have different factors for our crosshairs to spread, like character movement, jumping, shooting, and you can add more. That would be easily editable. Then we'll make inventory system to handle pickups, health kits, and ammo. We'll make uh, more interactable objects in the game to make the game more interactable and realistic like doors that you can just go around and open the doors and close the doors that zombies cannot enter there. We'll also talk about complete UI system with health bars, ammo counters and simple menus. And as I told you, it's not a fun project. We will make everything with real good design that can be ready to be published in Steam. We'll implement sound and visual effects like blood decals, fog, lighting and zombie groans. We'll also create a full save and load system 
and organize everything for long-term project. In the real games, you have save and load system, and you know what to save and what to load. Our game is a real game, so we'll have complete and working save and load system. That anytime you quit the game, and next time you come, you will start right from there. From character location, to the weapons you have, to the ammo amount you have, to the zombies. How many zombies were in the map and in the exact location. So if you're stuck in a zombie wave and you close the game and you open the game, you will be still in there. That is how our save and load system work. And also, if the character dies, we'll start from the beginning of the day, like in the morning. Because we have day-night cycle and when the character dies, we will start from that day morning. That means like if you die in the game, you will not start from the beginning. We will start from that morning. And I will show you how to use GitHub for version control and set up your whole project in GitHub. You can also access my code on GitHub. That way you can uh, track the project work and fix errors you have. And you can compare my code with your code. Then I'll show you how to package and publish your game and platforms like Steam. And finally, we'll learn how to use AI tools to generate code, design documents, art, animations, and even ideas whenever you're stuck. This course is for anyone who wants to become truly self-reliant in game development. You don't need a big team, you don't need to be an expert, and you don't need to copy tutorials forever. AI is here, and it is inevitable. You cannot ignore it, but you can use it to upskill yourself and speed up your development. While many people fear that AI will replace human jobs, I see it as an opportunity. Build your own team of AI tools, a team that works faster than humans, does not get tired, and it is always available right from your home. With AI tools, you don't need to understand every single thing to create something real. You just need to ask the right questions. Let AI help you with ideas, code, game features, debugging, fixing errors, best practices, and so much more. By the end of this course, you will know exactly how to make a full game on your own, and you will have the knowledge and tools to build any type of game you imagine using C++ and Real Engine and AI as your personal development assistant. This course is all about best practice, managing real and big projects, teamwork and making something real. It's not just another random fun project. You can also access a book in this course where you can find everything I did in the course. And if you're interested in these things, you want upscale to AI and make something real, then enroll now and let's start this journey together.